Hey guys, it's Oluvids, and uh, today we're here with Dragon Quest 11s. And uh, right now we gotta go over to Galopolis. Oops, hold on, wait, somebody's dead, my bad. Uh, okay, so let's go over to uh, Galopolis and see what happens. And of course, the world map is way different from uh, what it looks like in 3D mode. Let's go beat this guy up. That was pretty easy. But anyway, let's get to the actual place we need to go to. The campsite first. I just need to rest real quickly. Let me go until nighttime. Okay, let's continue. Yeah, it's right down here. Ah, uh, you tap there. Twenty one points of damage, jeez. Okay, we took some heavy damage from just one encounter, so Just fix that up. I can't wait till I get multi hero multi heal or omni heal. Whatever it was called. I think it was Omni Heal. Here's a walking corpse. Uh I don't know if we can run away from this guy, so let's just fight him. Should be right here. All right, there's a taco. Tick tock, tick tock, oh dear, oh dear. I shall be too late, I fear. If someone doesn't step in to save the day, Tickington's time is well and truly up. Tick tock, the clock won't stop. It is really five minutes to midnight. If only there was someone who could come to our aid. Hey, man. Hold on, a tick. You clocked me. Am I right? Can it be true? Can you really see me? Nope. Oh, come on now. That really ticks me off. There's no time for analysis. Of course you can see me. I just need to see what happens. Uh, this can only mean one thing. You're a hero, aren't you? Oh, tickety-boo. You're finally here, and not a moment too soon. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Hero. My name's Ickle. I'm a tackle from, uh, over t Tinkington Way, and we need your help. We're having trouble, uh, we're having a terrible time at the moment. Can I ask you to... Uh, come and be the hero of the hour. Come, on. yeah, I got you. Phew, thank you, Mr. Hero. I knew it wouldn't take you more than the moment start to agree. Nah, no, don't worry about it, man. Ah, uh, no, trust me. The clock is ticking. Come on now. It's time to show you and your friends the way to Tickington. Follow me. Here we go. Now, normally, if we were 3D, we would automatically shift over to 2D in this place. But anyway. Of course, some more really good looking sprite work. Hold on, what just happened? Things went all wavy and suddenly we're in this weird village. Oh, look, he's so adorable, but who is he? TikTok, it looks like you clocked me too. You must be Mr. Hero here's friends. Welcome to Tickington, a place that's just a little bit out of the ordinary. Normally, only certain special people can see us taco types, but the second even ordinary folk uh, set foot in our home, they can see us too. I think we might need a little background here, like who are you, where are we, and why the heck are we here? You know, just the small stuff. How about you start from the beginning? The beginning? Yes, yes, of course, the beginning. Tiki Boo, let, allow me to explain. We are the Tacos, and we live in the, here in the village of Tickington. It's a very peculiar place where time flows a little differently from the way it does in Erdrea. It's our sworn duty to make sure that time flows as it should. The past, the present, and the future are all in the right order. And that all is unfolding as intended. In other worlds, we make sure everything's tickety-boo. Tickety-boo. Whoops. 
Ah, hang on a tick, I need to tell them Mary you're here. Why don't we let him explain the rest? Just head upstairs, you'll find him in a very special place we call the Echo Chamber. So come on, shake a leg, the clock's ticking, and there's no time like the present. Of course. Okay, we've got lots of little tacos here. Yes, I am the luminary. Uh, so yeah, he said up the stairs. I believe it's right here. Yes, it is. It's the mayor. Tick tock, look who we've got. It's the luminary, and not a moment too soon. Ah, oh, what marvelous timing. Welcome to Tickington. My name's Stickle, and I am the mayor of the fine place beyond space and time. Now the clock is ticking, so I will be brief. My people have a sacred mission, and that is why we have sought you out. Take a look at the tomes that sit on the altars around us. In these sacred volumes are inscribed the, the, the tales of ha hallowed heroes from other worlds and other ages. Since time immem immemorial, the duty of my people has been to guard these books, and to ensure that the great deeds of the past live on in the present. That is why we created this place where we now stand, the Echo Chamber, a sacred space where the adventure logs of other hallowed heroes of old can, keep, can be kept safe from the ravages of time. Or so we thought, but this holy haven has been sullied by an unknown miscreant, who took it upon themselves to tear whole pages from our beloved books, and liter uh, liberally daub others with ink. I am afraid I have no idea who committed this heinous crime, but I know that, as things stand, the heroic happenings of the past risk being lost forever. History itself hangs in the balance. Which is where you come in. As the hero of your own age, I must ask you to right this wrong. I must ask you to plunge into these each of these volumes and set time on the right path once more. But before you dive in, you must learn the sacred incantations that will enable you to turn back the clock, the past words. Sadly, they were long since scattered. These were long since scattered across Erdrea. This being so, I have entrusted my most dependable tackles with the monumentous task of seeking them out. Should you find one of my friends in the course of your travels, stop a moment and speak to them. With any luck, they will have learned the words that will enable you to journey throughout the pages of the ages. When you have learned one, you will be able to return here and visit the very legends of the greatest heroes known to space and time. Now, if I'm not becoming confused in my old age, young Ickle here managed to find a password the other, way, other day. Come, my little TikTok tyke. Share what you have learned with our friend. Yes, sir, TikTok. Let's make this talk tick. Whoops, my bad. Let's make this quick. Now, perk up your ears because I'll only say this once. Echo tells Olivids the password he's found. Okay, so we got the first password. Now you can visit Galumholm via the Altar of Origins. Why not strike while the time's on your side and take a closer look at the altar over there? A whole new world of adventure awaits. Come on, there's no time like the present. Alright, so we are going over to the first Dragon Quest game, or Dragon Warrior, as it was, as it was called in America. And we got the dungeon theme playing here. And we got the first battle theme here. Whoops. So yeah, this is definitely different from uh, the first game because you can bring a party with you into this place. So you couldn't do that before. Before you were just one lone knight. But anyway, um, so what I'm trying to do is uh, fill up the defeated monster list uh, in this place. So there's two monsters that I haven't defeated. Here's a group of enemies. What's this? A rarefied Fromage Flay. Okay, so there's a rare enemy right there. Whoops. That's what I was looking for, I think. Um, let's try Frizz over to the rare guy. Hmm. <laughs> Just the old theme playing. Shivers with disgust. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I've heard this song so much because of how much grinding you have to do in that game, so like, this song is just ingrained into my mind now. <laughs> okay, Eric can't move. That guy tried to lick me. How much health does this guy have? Okay. Okay, Eric can move again. Can he die? Okay, critical hit on them. Okay, we beat them. Uh, okay. Um. So now I think the last monster is uh gonna be the enemy we have to fight. I'll show you. And this is the part I like. They in the original game they actually spoke like this, and now they have them, you know talking like you know very old English so I like how they kept that uh, for the when you go to the original game prithee hear my tale wanderer thou hast wended away thy way to the one time dwelling place of the legendary bard Galen from whom our town taketh its name alas thou hast arrived at an unhappy juncture a foul monster hath had the effrontery to violate the tomb of our most famous son and hath purloined the, his most precious possession the Lyre of Ire. Know that this storied instrument is no more, is no mere dusty relic. Nay, tis a powerful artifact indeed, and could cause monsters to flock toward wh whomsoever giveth its fable strings to the merest brush. The thief knew this only too well, and did shrum upon it, until its peaceful place was overrun with hideous beasts, and the townsfolk had all fled in fear of their lives. Tis surely the end of Galen home, unless the hero can be convinced to seek us out to seek out and vanquish the fiend that dared deprive us of our most hallowed of treasures couldst thou be that hero i got you man see the other hero is going to be here a little later so uh for now i'll help you out mhm mm and luckily i played some of dragon quest 1 so i actually know uh i know where the hidden hidden pathway is to... Yeah, I don't want to fight you, man. I'm sorry. So yeah, I know where the hidden pathway is to get to uh, where the tomb is. So back in the original game, if you see the curtains over there, you can see one of them is like moved. But in the original game, it was just all black there. So like you kind of just had to hug the wall until you found the right one. Um, and there was like two soldiers in here that talks to some people over here normally. And I got... Okay. Yeah, I did not want to do that. My bad. Oh, okay. I guess I'm not leaving. Ooh, okay. What can they do? Alright, uh... Let me heal myself. Uh, have him attack. Have her attack. Have her heal. Veronica. heal itself too. Ooh, everybody got pepped up. Oh man, okay. Um, ooh. Like, the song becomes catchy because you, <laughs> you've heard it for so long, I don't mind it anymore. Okay, I got up to level 13 and I have Bang and Fizzle. That's good. Whoops, not I did not mean to do that. Uh, okay, let me uh, get some healing in. So I don't want to lose anyone while we're out here time traveling. Yeah, this is the exact song that I played. Like, this is the NES version of the song. I really don't want to fight you right now. Can I please run? Alright, yeah. There right, here he is. Quahaha, this liar of fire is hard to beat. I just can't keep drumming up new fans. Eh, is that a human? You've come to hear me play, right? What are you banging on about? You want me to give back the liar back after all the trouble I went through to snare it? Fat chance of that. This thing is great. I'm a bit of a misfit among my bongo banging brethren, you see. 
My rhythm's all over the place and I can't sing for toffee. All I've ever wanted is an audience that appreciates something a bit different. Now all I have to do is strum the lyre and a whole bunch of alternative music fans show up to kick it with me. I've never had so much fun. So if you're gonna try to make me give it back, I'm gonna have to give it back, uh, give you, beat you black and blue. Whoops, drum roll please. Okay, here's the Rongo Bongo. Uh, whoops, no, no. Yeah, see, I keep forgetting that, like, it just brings you right back to, uh, the main option. Um, put this under him. Uh, frizz. Just attack. Taking a bunch of, and we got a crit on too. Nice. And he's calling up enemies now. See, you couldn't do this in the original game. There's only one enemy. But anyway, that's fine. Uh, Eric, you can poison him. And Veronica, use bang on everyone. Uh, we'll attack him. But he's only taking six points of damage. It's not that much. He's defeated. Alright. So we all still have our pep up, and we beat that guy. And I leveled up, that's always good. Oh, uh, let me check. Let's see, what do I have? Do I have enough? I have 10. Okay, I could do something with this. Um. Okay. You can attack a group of enemies. Or an overhead swing with the ooh. So do I want to attack multiple enemies or do I want one really strong attack? Hmm. Okay, wait, those are those are pet power? Okay, those are pet powers, okay. Hmm, or do I wanna now let's try this. It's like I could do one really strong attack. Uh, and Eric has nine. They have a lot. Okay, I haven't put anything. Okay, that makes sense now. I never realized that. All right. So what does she use? I guess a regular wand. Hmm. Yeah, I guess she does. Increases magical power. Okay. Or magical might, as it says. Uh, whoops. Let's see, what else? Hmm. Okay, this is Vim. Okay. So this is not even, uh, magic. So I'm guessing what she's holding is a heavy wand, because she's using two hands to hold it, so... Um... Okay. Actually, no, I'll save that. And she's holding... a regular wand. Okay. Magical mending, is that like... Increasing your healing power or something? <sighs> hmm. Forms a barrier that, uh, sure. In case we ever get into a fight with an ice enemy. Uh, and Eric, what can you do? Pissed on the sleep sleeper hit. Uh, taking six times. The okay, yeah, I think I'll save up for that. Alright, uh, and of course we can't go into the tomb, I tried that before, but we can't go there, and we can't leave the town. So it's like a small area, but I mean, it's something. Okay, let's go and tell the old man the good news. Here we 
Okay, like... Okay. <laughs> I wanted to see what happens if I try to use it. Okay, here we go. to see if I could use it for something, but I just, <laughs> of course, I don't really know how to use that at all. Okay, all the people's back in here, we got the town theme. Oh yeah, uh, I heard that the, I, I, I have heard tell that the greatest hero of our realm hath lately sallied forth from the great castle of Tantagel. So that's the, the actual hero of this game, he comes from that castle. So, uh, okay, yeah, so this is like right before he probably comes here. Uh, yeah, that that will be cool when it happens, because it will happen eventually. Um, let's go on back. Ah, see, so you have returned. And what tales do you have to regale to me with this time, hmm? Goodness me, Galen Holm was besieged by monsters, you say? Perhaps these are merely musings of an old man, but I have a feeling that the vandal who defaced our beloved books may be attempting to rewrite history itself. But as long as you are able to visit each of these heroic ages and right the wrongs that have been wrought there, the proper flow of time will be restored soon enough. In which case, you'll need to continue to speak, seek out and speak with the Tacles who are traveling the length and breadth of Erdrea in search of passwords. Past words. The more of them you learn, the more ancient ages you will be able to visit. If anyone can find them, uh, it's you. Alright, time for you to shine, dear hero. As tacos, it's our sacred mission to always ensure that the great deeds of the past remain intact for the sake of the future. But we need your help, please. History itself hangs in the balance. Okay, well, uh, let's head on back to our own world. Let me check the pots. Just in case. I'll probably come back here later and check it out. There seems to be broken cogs in there. But anyway, let's uh, get out of here. Let's continue with our actual mission in our time. Here we are. Hold, oh, none shall pass without um, a pass. So they showed the show you got the pass. Yeah, here you go. Very well. Everything seems to be in order. Here you go. Yes, let's go. Oh, okay, that's cool. I didn't know you could go diagonal in the world map. I never noticed. Can I avoid these guys? No. Okay. I don't want to use up my pep too much, but I mean, if I have to. Yeah, Serena's running out of uh, pep. And Veronica. I gotta end this quickly. there. Can I please run? Okay, we were able to escape. Oh, uh, I'm trying to get over to... Alright, we made it. Okay, so here we are in Galopolis. And it looks nice in 2D. Okay, Oh, just look at all these people. How marvelous. Is there some kind of festival going on, I wonder? Hmm, yes, of course. Galopolis is the kingdom of the dearest desert knights, whoops, isn't it? And of the racetrack where they love to compete. 
I think we've arrived in town just in time for the horse racing festival. Well, you go play with ponies if you like. I'm gonna go look for the Yggdrasil branch. That's why we're here, in case you've forgotten. I'll let Mr. Moody No Fun go off on his own if he wants. There's nothing to stop us from having a little look around while we're here. Okay, well, let's go. Welcome to Galopolis, home to Erdrea's most magnificent horse races. The races are open to all. Simply pay a visit to the stables on the western side of the city, should you wish to participate. Alright, anyway. Cool. Um, I believe there's some quests around here. Uh... This guy? Nope, not that guy. This guy? Yeah, this guy has a quest, so let me just take that for now. Somebody else had a quest. Um, I'm not sure though. Yeah, they say a thousand pardons a lot. So yeah, this is actually where I'm up to in my own save data, so... Um... Like a little bit past this, so... I'm hoping that I can get past where I am in my regular save data so I can actually see something like I don't know yet, so... Okay, let me put in my first deposit for the bank. Alright, uh, let's... We're all good, right? Let me... Let's take a rest. Right. Uh, right now it's night time, but anyway, let's go up to the king. I Not the king. The prince or whatever. I'm not sure. I don't remember if we could go at night time, but... Oh. I've destroyed a hundred objects. Cool. Can I go at night? Oh, okay, no, we can't do this at night. Whoops. Okay. I guess I'm going to have to pay again. Oops, sorry, there's some shops here. Um, let me check out what they have. What do you have here? Yes, that would help. Yeah, put this broadsword away. That'll be all. Um... Yeah, let me stay until, like, morning. Excuse me. Uh, can I like stay here till it's daytime? Much better. All right. Okay, everyone still has the pep. All right, that's good. Let's go over there and meet the prince. Here's a, uh, the castle full of cats. Meow. Meow, meow. You'll know, find him in the throne room upstairs, yep. It's like so many cats around here. Um, they say it was up here, right? Ahem, fellow Galopolish... Galopolitans? There's, this is no ordinary sand national. This race marks the day of Faris, my son and heir. Comes of age, and as such, no, no, no. An event of such significance must have eloquence to match. Such functional pleasantries will not thrill my beloved subjects. Hello. And who exactly might you be? I have no time to grant an audience today. You must leave immediately. Father, my training is complete. 
Here's the prince right there. Then give me the pledge. A king's word is his bond, his kingdom his master. He serves the weak untiringly and challenges the strong un unflinchingly. Ha! And never retreats in the face of adversity. Hmm, yes, very good. The knight's pledge must always be your guide, my son. Okay, so, uh, got this guy pledging himself as a knight to the king himself. Which is, uh, the prince right here, too. You are a man now, Ferris, and tomorrow's race shall pl prove it. You must show your people that you are worthy of their adultation. Adulation. Whoops, adulation. If you are not father, I shall not disappoint neither of you nor they. Neither you nor they. Oh. What's your name, stranger, and what brings you to Galopolis? Shirley speaks of the rainbow, which is the item that we need. Uh, I believe it can assist you, friend. Visit me in my chambers. Yes. So what I'm hoping is, like, we could actually do the horse race. Even though it's 2D. I think it was this one. Yeah. It's gonna steal his treasure. Oh, let me see something. Okay, cast iron is still stronger. Um, let's go talk to him. Ah, you came, thank you. Yes, yes, your heart and physique are perfect. And you have the face of one who knows horses. So yeah, here's the, here's the big reveal here. He's looking around. Gotta meet him at the at the circus, because he doesn't want to reveal his secret. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to sleep again, and we'll go back at the night time. Okay, I only have eight gold, so <laughs> I spent all my money on sleeping, and uh, it's right here. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the act you've all been waiting for. The wandering wonder who amazes audiences wherever he goes. And here's the big reveal of our, our next party member, Silvando. How's this going to look in 2D? He immediately starts off with the knives. And now it turns into flaming knives in this one. Oh no, it's all too wrong. They've, they're too hot to handle. Watch out, everyone. Okay, so it's a little different from the 3D version, actually. The flaming knives turn into roses. It's actually completely different from the 3D version. There's no need to be afraid, the Great Salvador will never endanger his adoring audience. Okay. I just realized they have talking still in the 2D version, like the, the crowd of people. And that tiny problem is that you cannot ride a horse. It's 
so you see you coming here was fated it is a sign that the forces of destiny mean me to use you as my double tada and this is where we get the armor well not here but like soon there's veronica getting mad of course but we do need the rainbow, so we can't really tell him no, so... Sure. Okay, so we gotta meet him by the stables in order to actually do the race and take his armor. I accidentally skipped what he said, but anyway, let's head over to, uh, they said the west side, right? Which is over here. He's in here. Uh, he's right here. Thank the stars, I was beginning to worry that I might actually have to try to ride a horse. Now come, the race will begin shortly, and fear not, I remember my promise. If you do as we agreed, I'll ask my father about the branch. Are you ready? Yes. See how the armor looks in 2D. There we go. Now the race is about to begin. I have instructed you, one of my men, to wait for you at the entrance of the racetrack in the north side, uh, north of the paddock. Mm -hmm. Oops. This is where we see that the guy that was gonna race him, I think FaZe Varys. No. What was his name? I think his name was FaZe or something like that. But yeah, this guy got sick or injured or something, so. Uh, who do we talk to? I'll go talk to the children. Uh, yep. Yeah, they think I'm Prince Ferris. Uh, do I have to go right here? Yep. Oh, okay, yeah. That's not my horse. Never mind. Is that my horse? Yep. Okay, now I'm wondering what the race is going to be like in 2D. Or if we actually even do the race at all. Fellow Galop Galopolitans, this is no ordinary national, and then they just start cheering. Okay, I need to see what this race is going to be like. There's Silvando. He's taking the place of the guy who couldn't race. So we'll try to keep up. Okay, are we actually going to play this or... It's loading. Oh wow, okay. So it just switches right back to 3D. Okay. See if I can win this. And Zofano just pushed me. Can I beat him? Oops. Uh, 
Whoops, no. I need that. Oh. Ah, oh, he still wins. Oh wait, never mind. No, this is the last lap right here. I don't know if I can catch up to him though. Ooh, wait. Ah, I almost had it. I was close, but I ran out of stamina at the last moment. Okay, I guess we're just gonna shift over back to 2D. Yep. Well done, you are most talented. Far natural, far more natural horseman than I expected. Yeah, go. Fear not, my friend, I have not forgotten my promise. I will discuss the rainbow with my father. Yep. Praise the fates, our plan was a success. Thank you, yep. And this is where it gets exposed. Well, you don't understand the pressure I'm under. The Prince of Galopolis, who cannot ride a horse, is a disgrace to the kingdom. I did what was necessary for the sake of my people, and now all can be forgotten, yes? And there was silly old Solvando thinking that the knights never retreated in the face of adversity. And there comes another knight. So where does he hide me in this version? Where's he put him? Puts him in the corner. Oh, okay. He puts him in the corner and stands in front of him. Very good. I will come right away. I promise. So stands. Come to the throne room in a little while. We will see what we can do about that branch. Of, about this branch of yours. We will share the stage. Yes. Pretty soon. Okay, so this is gonna be it for this video. Uh, there wasn't really a lot of fighting in this video. Well, actually, there was, but I mean, in terms of the main story, there wasn't a lot of fighting. So, uh, where's the. Okay. Okay, so next time, we gotta go see if we can get that rainbow.